and we are back in the African Warriors arena with more Dambi action. As always, I'm your host, Maxwell Kalu, the voice of the arena. And here we have our first warrior for today. This man, Bahagon Kudawa, a showman, a great fighter, experienced fighter. He is facing off against a fighter of similar stature, Aljani Arawa. So we have two experienced fighters. Both fighters have made their bones in this game, are respected, re respected and recognized in the sport of Dambe. This is an exciting bout we have coming up. Before them, both men are saying their prayers, settling with their gods and spirits before going to battle. And here we go, round one. Some gamesmanship between them. Nambi is equally as spiritual as it is physically, so fighters observe all sorts of customs, have all sorts of rituals. You sometimes see the charms on fighters, you sometimes see their tokens and talismans. Each fighter has their own special way of approaching that. You have them touching gloves. As I said, as always, gamesmanship, spirituality, all of these things make up parts of this sport. And both men arrange themselves in the Dambe stance, and here we go. Both men looking strong, looking confident. Bahagon comes forward. Bahagon Kudawa in the green, Aljani Arawa in the red. Both men just watching each other intently, waiting for the other one to strike the first blow. Both men are good counter punchers. And in those bouts, there's a sh opening shot there from Bahagon Kudawa. Both men look at the concentration on both fighters' faces. Both men want this, as you can see the arena is full, plenty of people are watching, bragging rights on the line. Big shot there from Arawa misses, Kudawa comes forward. Sw swinging there, Arawa just staying out of the way. I think he needs to impose his physicality a bit more. Kudawa is moving forward. Kudawa is looking to me like the bully here. Whereas Arawa is spinning out a lot, not wanting to engage as much. Take a second and there we go. So that was a very cagey first round. Here we have that opening shot. Arawa spins out after missing that. Kudawa is coming forward. Some feints there. He throws a shot. So n neither fighter to me really imposed their will. Here we have Kudawa moving forward here. Here's Arawa looking a bit uncomfortable. But there's still all to play for on this second round. No concrete winner of that first. So let's see where we go. Let's see what we get here. Here we have Kudawa answering the call of the musicians as always. He is engaging with Shagon Mada, one of the senior fighters in house Kudawa. And what do we have here? Shagomad has taken something out. Kudawa takes a drink of it. Rubs it on his hand. He's whispering something. As I said, Dambi is as spiritual as it is physical. He's now writing something in the sand here. Kudawa watching him. Steps over it. Steps back. Uses his hand to scrub it out and runs back into the arena so it looks like his senior fighter there gave him some advice of the spiritual nature and in Dambe, as i said this spiritual beliefs are an integral part of this sport so let's see now if it has any bearing on the fight the first round was a very cagey round neither fighter was able to take a victory there kudawa went off to one side consulted his senior fighter Shagon Mada who gave him something to drink, rubbed something on his punching hand, wrote something in the sand. Let's go round two. Both men back in the arena now. Good to see that Aljani Arawa looks like a bit more urgent in this round. Kudawa looking quiet as always or looking stoic. Both men just reaching with their unwrapped hand use that hand to 
put your opponent in place to block, to gauge distance before you strike. So both fighters watching intently, both fighters obviously have respect for the man standing in front of them. Goes forward, both men just with their hands, Kudawa lands and he goes down. How interesting is that? So here we have this replay here. Both men just pouring with their unwrapped hands. Then Kudawa with a big shot, lands another one right on the chin. Boom, there you go. Aljani Awa goes down straight away. So what we just had here, as I said, that first round was very cagey. Nothing much happened in that first round. Bahogon Kudawa went back and received some spiritual counseling, came back and won that fight with his first punch. Take with that what you will.